All right, welcome back. We got our fish hog unboxing for February. Um, do these every month. So uh, if you're not familiar with fish hog, they're a uh, soft, primarily soft tackle company. Although the last couple months looks like they've been expanding out into crank baits and and some terminal tackle as well. But uh, I discovered them through Mystery Tackle Box and uh, really liked one of their lures a lot, their coontail worm, and went looking for them and nobody carries them other than taking them directly from the factory. Well, while I was on their website looking to order some coontail worms, I noticed that they had a subscription service. I was like, eh, let's see what they got to offer. So uh, I've been, uh, I think this is my fifth month getting their subscription and, uh, and I've been really pleased with it so far. So um, crack the box open here. There's their... Uh, what's in the box card. So if you look down the side here, you've got three different levels. Uh, the first here is the softy, which is uh, soft plastics and terminal tackle, uh, four soft plastics. The next one's the stalker, adds two, uh, typically a hard bait and something else in there. And the last one's the storyteller, which is the level I've subscribed to, uh, which adds a couple of other things in as well. So uh, let's see what we've got to start off with here. Right on the top of the box, fish hog sticker, which your uh, cut vinyl, for a window. I've actually got one on the back of my truck. So, uh, first thing up, we have the Angry Beaver. And this looks like it's in a uh, kind of a two-tone uh, green green pumpkin on top, and um, and a chartreuse on the belly. And one of the one of these has got this really really distinct in that regard. So that's a nice small little flipping bait, beaver bait. So. Green pumpkin on the back or on the top, chartreuse on the belly. Uh, this one, so this one's really distinct. The others just have little, some real subtle bits of chartreuse in them. But uh, unfortunately, it's like the color's terribly consistent there. The next thing up is the whole reason I found this company in the first place, which is their coontail worm. So Big Bite uh, makes a very similar worm and the squirrel tail, Crete squirrel tail, but uh, this looks like it's a June bug with a kind of a creamy red end on it, but this tail is a different plastic and it floats. Um, so I typically fish these on a drop shot and the, t the tail just sits there and kind of flicks and with this little skinny section, any movement of your rod or your line and this thing's just going to town. These are great on a shaky head as well because uh, they stand up real nice because the tail floats. So that's the coontail worm. Uh, next up we got the thunder stick. And this is, looks like a stick bait with a grub tail on it. So, um, it looks like a five inch, like a five inch Senko style. Uh, it doesn't taper off too much, and then you've got a, uh, a curl tail. Looks like these are black and blue flake with a blue grub tail. All right, like I said, talk, some turtle tackle in there. So here's our worm hooks for this month. These look like uh, just an offset round bin worm, worm hook. Pretty good size. Um, it would definitely be too big for the angry beaver. It'd probably work okay on the thunder stick. Uh, gonna be too big for the coon tail, but it's just a nice big, uh, big round bin. Offset worm hooks, pack of four, or excuse me, three. So that's what you would get in, a, in the softy subscription. Uh, moving on to the uh, stalker subscription. Next up, we got a spoon. Uh, I've started throwing spoons a lot. Uh, I've been doing a lot of striper fishing lately and uh, been throwing really big spoons for the most part, chasing striper. Um, this is actually a really cool looking spoon. It's fairly small, but it's, a, it's a basically a, a sexy shad, but it's a white spoon. Uh, so, white painted spoon. The blue is actually a, a, a glitter, and then there's a little spot of, of yellow down there. So it imitates a uh, threadfin shad or blueback hair or something along those lines. Um, so my normal lake that I fish during the summer, 
is not a shad lake. Uh, however, I've been fishing Lake Mead and Lake Mojave a lot lately, and uh, they are most definitely shad lakes. Uh, I'll, I'll give that thing a workout here this year for sure. All right, next up we got the Jigsaw, which is their jig. Uh, I've said this before, I really like their uh, their jigs. First of all, their stand it's a stand-up style head. But second of all, instead of having a fiber weed guard like most jigs do, they actually have a wire weed guard that clips onto the hook, um, kind of like the old style uh, weedless worm hooks. So um, fairly good bait to keep her on there. And then this is uh, black and brown with a little bit of uh, purple in it, so like a PB&J color. So great color um, pretty much anywhere. And that's the Jigsaw Jig. All right, so that's it for the stalker. So the stalker added the two hard baits. Uh, next up in the storyteller level is the teat. And this is a tube. So good size tube. These are in black and black with red flake. Lots and lots of flake in them. Um, and uh, pretty fine into the tube. And actually it looks like... Yeah, there's actually multiple levels of little tentacles back in the back of this tube. So um, lots of little tentacles should have great action in the water and uh, fairly, fairly durable. So. And then the last stuff, we have the Tandem Willow Maker. So this is their spinnerbait, white spinnerbait. Hard to go wrong with a white spinnerbait. Twin willow leaf. Uh, with a uh, silver and a gold leaf. Um, if I had to guess, I would say this is 3 8 ounce jig head and uh, fairly small willows. So for the weight, uh, this actually should run fairly deep, which depending on where you're fishing can be a good thing. Um, these, these willow blades won't drag it up to the surface too bad. But uh, all in all, it looks like a pretty good box uh, with spring coming on and uh, Stripers especially in Lake, Moh Lake Mojave starting to warm up a little bit, um, kind of getting into the pre-spawn. And my primary lake up in Utah is starting to warm up a little bit as well. The water temperature's come up a couple degrees in the last week. So i uh, looking forward to getting back out there uh, here shortly and getting into the pre-spawn. But anyway, uh, it's Fish Hog Lures. It's www.fishhog.com. Uh, check them out. And until next time, tight lines and cheers.